What's up and welcome back to Make It Monday. All right, so this is gonna be a quick one because I don't have to go find the file I want. My mate Steve Day sent me the file that I wanted over. It's a uh, Royal Mail post box that he uh, designed. So basically I just downloaded the file, put it in a slicer, sliced it, selected 5% infill, which I think was a mistake now because I've already printed it. So you'll see what I'm talking about. And uh, took it to the printer and hit print. And basically it failed. But anyway, you can see it on the time lapse. Here we go. Call me the joker. Call me the fool. When she calls, I always see her lose my cool. Baby, I'm just a mouth to your whole plane. And don't you know that love and you. All right, so that was the result. It's got a hole in the top. The rest of it looks pretty good, so not bad at all um but a five percent i think was just too little or not enough infill so i think when it was bridging across the top where uh, the infill like again the infill is probably like this big um for the gaps between it and it was just i think as it went through it wasn't making it to the other side it was kind of curling back and building up a little bit and then it just kept building up until it got so high that the nozzle hit it and just knocked it over. So I printed this on my old 3D printer and it came out pretty rough. It definitely wasn't as smooth as all this, but it definitely didn't do that either. So I'll, go, I'll, I'll print it again. I'll give it more infill, probably 15% next time, and see how it comes out. But uh, yeah, it's still it's a great design. It looks really, really good. Like all the, all the design and the uh, detail in it is pretty good. So thanks, Steve, for that. Uh, I'll print it properly next time. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post below. And if we don't see you on the track, we'll see you on the trail. Later.